Hi, I'm so glad that you could join me for the first global stampin' video hop, which I am part of. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> and the theme for this first one to kick off is the theme of new. So it could be, you know, new house, new baby, new anything. So I've decided to use the little ladybug stamps and I had an idea in my head that I wanted to play with. I've already gone ahead and stamped out these little guys with black memento ink and I've cut them out. I'm going in with the flower image from the same stamp set and I'm stamping the stem and then doing the flower separately because I want to have these as two separate entities to the card. I'm using cherry cobbler to colour the ladybug in. I want a nice deep red to show off their wings. I know a lot of people have a debate to know which colour to colour their bodies in so I've gone for soft sea foam just a nice hint of colour without looking too dark and then just shading in along the lines and the left side with the darker soft sea foam. My choice of colour for the flower is Daffodil Delight. It does look darker on screen but it is Daffodil Delight. I wanted this card to be very bright and cheery so I'm using Granny Apple Green for the stem. So when I went to chop this out I did cut fairly close to the flower so in order to disguise my cut marks I'm just using my black blend and just running that along the edge to disguise any white marks that have taken off the black outline. Using Granny Apple Green and the sponge brayer, I'm using the detailed designer laser cut paper or something like that <laughs> for this um, background trellis design. Now in my bag of scraps I managed to find this circle which is about two and three eighths of an inch. I think it's from one of the die cuts and it was just perfect just to ground these ladybugs. I didn't have many sets that had anything to do with new in it, but the well said stamp set did, uh, which was perfect for my card. This one is time for a new adventure and I go ahead and stamp a strip using Cherry Cobbler. Using the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set I wanted to incorporate some more flowers, so using the black outline and then filling it with the smaller flower in Daffodil Delight. And then you can just pop these out with your punch, the matching punch to go with the stamp set. I wanted to create some leaves in the background of my trellis. I was a bit worried it'd look a bit funny, but um, after bringing back the trellis on top, I thought, oh no, it actually looks fine. So I went ahead and stamped some more in those in Granny Apple Green. With the circle, I just lobbed a bit off the edge just to ground it so it didn't look like a circle, but hopefully more of a, a door to a home or something like that. That was the look I was trying to go for. I strategically added dimensionals to the wings and the head of my ladybug so that I had bits of it popping out and I wanted to make it look as realistic as possible, as realistic as cartoon ladybugs go. And then just filling in the gaps of the flowers with these bright uh, gems. I think they're actually supposed to be crushed curry colour but it fitted in with what I wanted. I wanted some more leaves, it just felt that you needed something coming down more the, along the card so I had to mask off carefully the sides to just add a few more touches of leaves. And as much as I liked the card I just, mm, I wanted to have a go with something else. I just, the idea kind of came together. <laughs> But just stay tuned for my next card, which is using the uh, bee stamp set, the honey bees. So I'm using the honey bees and the matching dies for this. Now I was running out of Whisper White cardstock, so every tiny scrap I have or ha had, I was using up. So I braved it and went ahead using the Versamark ink, um, using the embossing buddy to take off any static first to stop any powder sticking where it shouldn't, and then just adding my gold embossing powder. I mean, gold beehive, so what more can you ask for? It's a perfect colour. So use your heat gun on this and this melts the powder if you've not seen this process before. And thankfully it just about fitted and then the next test was whether I could actually die cut it out without any problem. Just about, it just, just about made it, which I was pleased about. I had this idea to use the flowers from the stamp set and the bees and then as I was getting the dies out I thought oh actually I got the designer series paper that matches and this would give me a much um, clearer image and the flowers already got a little bit of gold on. 
So I'm using a scrap, <laughs> I've got a whole load of strips, which are scraps from when I trim down my card, which is actually ideal for things like sentiments. So again, going back to my well said stamp and using the word welcome, I'm stamping that in the black memento ink to create the little welcome sign. So I'm just trimming that down with this brilliant mini trimmer. It's so sharp and so efficient. Next, I had this idea to use the die that came in the set to create a stencil. So I'm using my sponge, very carefully holding down the honeycomb to create this cool look of the impression of the um, honeycomb. I'm using black baker's twine and sticking these uh, ends down with some glue dots to create this. Sign. I'm not measuring it, I'm just going ahead and guessing, guesstimating. And look at that, isn't it so cute? A little welcome sign. So we go ahead and use dimensionals for my beehive to pop that up to give it a focal point. Wrapped my little sign around the flower just so it makes it make, oh, excuse me, make a made, <laughs> my words got crossed, to make it look organic, like an organic feeling so that they're hanging off the flowers. So I just literally tear a bit of this flower off to make it slot in behind the rest. Cover up that bottom stem with a B and go ahead and stick those down. I really love how this card turned out. Um, I mount it on some basic black cardstock and I just think it really helps. So typically with um, clean and simple cards, I struggle with this, so I had to use my rubber to get off any ink marks that got left on the card. So thank you so much for joining along. Do let me know which card you like the best. I know which one's my favourite. And do go ahead and follow the links below for all the other designers that have come up with their own creations with this topic. And we'll be back again next month. So um, do follow along and subscribe to our channels.